Hello traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. Uh, so I have some new pairs and also I have pairs from last week. So what, uh, let's see what happens. Um, uh, we also had some news uh, which caused um, some nice moves. So after this momentum, definitely it's worth to look for some retracement and try to jump in. Uh, but let's see uh, what we can have. So first pair is Aussie Cat weekly chart we see that price is right now retracing uh, area of the support on this pair is around this zone so the 36 cma is our uh, area uh, what can happen next we can get weekly long one two three and if price reach this we can have continuation or price will drop still lower and this will be interesting if we go again to the previous bottoms or price will just stop at some point around the support, will get a higher low on the weekly chart and uh, we will go up again after bigger retracement, okay? Why the retracement uh, can happen, this bigger one, because price moved 1,000 pip, so we can also get a little bit bigger retracement. You see that um, back to this level, it's only like 40% retracement. If we go a little bit lower to the 50-60%, it's possible. Uh, continuation of this up move might be also nice because we had breakout of this weekly trend line. We had crossover of the EMAs. So now weekly uh, chart is uh, pointing uh, to go long. Um, if we pay attention, price last time reacted on this resistance. So in case if price bounce from this level, continue to go up, this is our next zone. If we get breakout and price will drop uh, lower, the area of the weekly support is uh, down here. And of course, uh, lowest point, which is here. So we go to daily chart. Let's adjust our lines if possible. So we see that there is area of the support, like a lowest point of this support. Now price is uh, pushing uh, another weekly support, but do we have anything on the daily chart? And if you pay attention, we can also find a little bit of the daily support here. So this is our next potential level. About trend line, this is the line. So we see that even this line can give us like an extra confirmation of potential uh, support. If we draw at the bottoms, we'll get this line. If we draw between body and tails, the angle will change a little bit like that so together with this area support this give us nice level for continuations like i said but right now uh this smaller trend line uh, here was broken we also had a different uh, trend line Oops, uh, different trend line here okay uh, and we see that after breakout price struggle and now after breakout of this range it's pushing down. So, um, and we also have this trend line here on the daily, which is our like a two to three line from the weekly chart. Okay. So we go to four hour time frame. And now, uh, if we draw trend line closer to the to price action, we'll get this. We see price is dropping. This was this range where price uh, stays for uh, for some time. Uh, now, and we also set about the breakouts, but in our live trading room. Okay, so now we have breakout and price is pushing down. So what we would like to see or retracement on the four hour chart, then look for short uh, scenarios or uh, with the momentum on the one hour chart time frame. If you get the retracement back to the 36 CMA, back to this trend line, you can look for short scenarios. So this is what we can do right now. Momentum is visible here. So after retracements, uh, you can look for short scenarios. Eurocat is the pair from last week. And what we said that we would like to see breakout here and take short scenarios or ideally break out of the resistance and the long scenarios and try to target this zone. Okay. You see that nothing happens. We had just false breakouts here, but there was no setup. Then price went up, went down again. But if you get a situation like that, that we have uh, we have um, this false breakout, then price decide to go up. If we change angle of our trend line, we will get something like this. So we see that price broke this and struggle. So we really then we always have to wait for like a clean situation below and then try to look for short scenarios. So we didn't have any opportunities to jump in. Now, if we change again angle, now it seems that price is gaining momentum. 
so we can look for short scenarios. But before that, um, let's go to daily to see what is happening. And like we said last time, we might have this daily short one to three. So continuation to this or even lower, it's still possible. Okay, now it seems that price is making lower high on the daily and uh, EMAs are still cross to, to sell. So this is okay. But still, if this will be any false breakout and price will decide and breaks this, then you still look for buy scenarios and target this. Uh, so now what we can do, of course, we try to sell it because it seems that uh, we might to see a continuation of this down move. Um, so what we need to see is at least, you know, that's like a breakout of those previous bottoms. Okay. And then short one, two, three below, and then we can look for short scenarios. Okay. So this is what we need. Um, target should be good enough uh, if we get breakout. Uh, and if price continue perfect, if this is again false breakout and price will again, you know, climb up and will break this, then we start to buy. Here, between this, I don't want, I'm not interested to trade. Yes, if we have like a false breakout and the price will stay here, just simply wait for breakouts of those two levels. Um, and this is basically what we have. Another option is that if price will drop, yes, will continue, but will not break this uh, support zone, Yes, but will stay here. You can also draw trend line, and whenever you know, if price stays here, then we lay, wait for breakout of this target resistance, and then we target this or breakout of that, and then we look for another area of the support as our target. Okay, but right now it's too early to say. Right now we have that. Uh, this is also nice line, so we wait for short scenarios here. Euro dollar, <clears throat> so Euro dollar slowly, slowly, but is going to our uh, target. We also took uh, this uh, trade here on our live trading room. Uh, we took this, let me just delete. Uh, we said about the short or long scenarios in our live trading room. We took this uh, short one to three with the pending order. Stop loss was above. First target was hit. Uh, I don't remember, somewhere around this uh, zone. So now you can trail stop loss to break even. So it's the risk-free trade. Second target, I think, is ar around this zone. So we still have to uh, wait. It was not hit, but still it's a winning trade. Um, so we took it this and we have still a target to, to reach and what we have on the weekly again, 36 CMA, which is quite strong area for us for my continuation together with the support. But again, this move was strong. It's our 1,500 pip. So maybe 36 won't hold here. We'll get a little bit deeper retracement like on the Aussie cat <clears throat> and we will get like a, maybe this deeper retracement to another level of the support and then we'll get bounce and price will continue to go up with the higher low on the weekly chart. And maybe this, we will see uh, now um, we have this trend line, yes, and price is pushing down. This is our next re area of support where we have to pay attention what price will do. Uh, we can also have reactions and price will make for us daily short one to three. So if the 36 CMA holds, we can look for short scenarios, target again this. Uh, in case of the breakout, this is next goal. Or if price will won't, uh, won't stop it but break this, then again, we have this area with the trend line. Maybe we'll get some retracement. If we have just drop, yes, if price will drop, then you can look for long entries against main direction and trade in the retracement, okay? And whenever uh, we have breakout of this trend line, we don't have trend line to be honest here. Uh, we only have this, but it's like a volatility line, not not for me trend line. Um, so if price will, for example, go to this levels and will struggle, and you will get 36 CMA here after breakout of the 36, you can look for buy scenarios together with this potential long uh, one, two, three. Okay, so this, those are the scenarios. Right now it's pushing down, so short scenarios after retracement are still possible. Uh, if we draw trend line on the four hour, hour chart, right now we have this. So retracement to trend line to the 36 CMA can give you opportunities right now only for day trading because our target is too close. So you, what you can do, you can just wait for um, 
one to three uh, on the one hour chart and try to look for short scenarios and as you can see we have a couple of them in between yeah so everything was okay for day trading scalping because uh price was pushing down making those re uh, retracements okay so now again exactly the same every single retracement option to sell uh, and you know where to when to buy it GBP US dollar, we said last time about the breakouts here to look for buy scenarios or breakouts here to look for short scenarios. We had false breakout, but we didn't get set up uh, to jump in. So luck luckily for us, uh, yes, price just broke this on the four hour chart. There was no setup. And if we go to one hour chart, there was also no setup. Okay. If we draw our to the tree line, you see that this line was never broken. So we didn't have any any opportunities to, to jump in here. Okay. And then price went went down again. So <clears throat> what uh, we have on the GPU as dollar weekly um, seems to be range. And again, or this range will hold and will get bounced and price will go up to retest this. Uh, or we'll get breakout and we'll have this deeper retracement maybe to this level or to the second one um here we still didn't have like a ema crossovers okay you see that there was no and it's still on the monthly on the weekly chart looks like a potential short one to three especially with this double bottom so give us still a chance that even price will not go here here but will continue to go lower yes we will see uh if we look for weekly trend line this is the trend line so as long as this trend line is holding, we can say that we are in the downtrend from my perspective. Uh, yeah, so let's go to uh, daily time frame. Uh, so like like you said, yes, uh, let's go even lower, okay? It will, will be easier because what we have to do is we have to draw a new trend line here. And now, uh, if you want to be more conservative, wait for confirmations. You have to wait for breakout of this trend line. Then you try to buy this target, the resistance. In case if price break the support, then you look for short scenarios and you target the next area of the support. Uh, another thing in case of the long scenario is that we have area of the resistance. I wouldn't bother right now with this, uh, but we can have something around this zone here. We just go to daily chart, so we'll have a little bit more details. Yes, this is the resistance for the daily. So if you get breakout of this, you have to pay attention for that also, okay? Because uh, you know, maybe price will decide to stay in this range here later on. Who knows? Uh, you have to just pay attention. If price breaks this, then you can really go to this uh, next level, okay? So this is if you want to find direction, but you can also trade in this zone, uh, intraday trading, scalping. So what we can do right now, uh, if price reach this support zone, you can look for long entries, buy scenarios against main direction. Your target will be, of course, this trend line. So if price will go to this level, you try to buy, target this level. And then if this holds, you look for short scenarios, target support. Again, yes, because you can look for short scenario here, look for target this. If price breaks this, you can look for buy scenarios and target this trend line, okay? And if price reach this trend line, this trend line, you can try to sell this also as a bounce, okay? But this is for day trading, scalping uh, things, okay? So this is what uh, you can do here on the GPUS dollar. Another is USDN. USDN also gain momentum because probably of the dollar. Um, so if we pay attention for the weekly chart, weekly chart, now the 36 EMA was broken. We can even get, go here to monthly. And what we will see that we have monthly long one, two, three retracement to the 12 EMA. So there is a very big chance that we will have continuation of this up move. Um, of course, the highest point is on the, on the top. So in between, we have this resistance, which is our next potential level of stop. We have also this. So now we see that it's breaking 36, is pushing up. Uh, it's still very powerful up uptrend. Uh, if we look for the daily trend line, daily trend line was broken right now. This is also what we set in our live room that whenever price breaks, we can look for buy scenarios. And now it's broken. This trend line is forming right now. Um, so we see that 
this resistance is here okay and we can even draw next one down here on the daily chart and this will be our weekly okay so we have next level where price might to stop um this is our four hour chart trend line uh, sorry daily trend line right now we can only draw it uh, in this way connecting the the lows four hour chart trend line for us for me will be like this so now after this area of struggling here now price went up so wait for the retracement try to buy this if we go to one hour chart exactly the same yes price went up wait for the retracement try to buy this okay so it's very easy pair to uh, trade right now um yeah so this is usdn and the last like always is gold um we set about some retracements on gold and continuations and you see that price retraced here make continuation um one hour chart also here after area of range we start to have one two three one two three so those all opportunities were for you to look for short scenarios or directly on the four hour chart uh, here yes after re retracement short entry stop loss above right now to, uh, one target would be hit and the second target is still good enough to to uh, it was good enough to to take this we have of course this four hour chart one two three here okay um so now what next if we go to weekly chart we are close to the 36 we also have this area of the support and also here we can see that price is making for us uh one two three Yes, and again, or price will stop here and we'll, we'll have continuations or maybe we'll get this deeper retracements or even continuation of this down move to this level, okay? So, or we'll get this or we'll get that, okay? Um, so, we will see a daily chart. Uh, now, we have the support zone. Yes, but basically, if we pay attention, we are already around the support, okay? We are around the support. This is like, I would say, lowest point of this support, okay? But if you pay attention, we also have this, where we are right now, and we also have this. So this whole area is more or less the same level. So question is where price decide to uh, go down, and it's also visible here. How many you see price went up here we had re, um, retracement then we had up move retest okay then another retest another retest another retest and then price uh, decided to go up okay so this is uh, one issue here with because if we have support zone like you know a little bit bigger price might react from this zone maybe we'll go lower we'll react or we'll go lower yeah so difficult to to say uh, let's say that we aim for the lowest point which is here okay and we will see um so now we can still as an intraday trading uh, we can look for retracement for example daily short one to three we look for short scenarios we go to four hour chart after retracement we can still look for short scenarios but as a as a day trading more or less retracement short scenarios of course we know that we are around the support right now so if you jump in try always manage the pair on the previous bottom okay uh, if we go to one hour time frame also here what we would like to do retracement to the 36 and we try to sell this so right now sell long scenarios uh, at least i would wait let me just delete this uh, at least you know if the 36 will fall price will struggle at least you know after 36 cma breakout with this possible long weekly one to three okay so this is how i see this guys i hope you like it if you have any questions feel free to comment this video and uh, see you in the indices uh, forecast soon bye